All right, let's take a look at an example problem where we're looking at some graphs of average kinetic energy versus temperature. Which graph best represents the relationship between the average kinetic energy of the random motion of the molecules of an ideal gas and its absolute temperature? Well, first of all, let's write down that relation. The average kinetic energy is 3 halves Boltzmann's constant times T. Notice that we have a direct linear relationship between the average kinetic energy and the temperature. As temperature goes up, kinetic energy, average kinetic energy goes up. There it is, our direct linear relationship. Let's take a look at one more. Jody can't remove her wedding ring. If she runs the entire ring under hot water, what's going to happen to the hole in the middle? Will it expand, contract, or stay the same? Well, here's how we're going to treat this. We're going to find what happens if we treat this as two rings, an outer ring and an inner ring. Let's treat it as a circle, a bigger circle, and a littler circle. So the big circle is going to expand, and the inner circle is also going to expand. Let's expand them both, and then we're going to recombine them. And when we do that, what we're going to find is if the inner one's expanded and the outer one's expanded, of course, this is where the finger goes inside that one. That one has expanded as well. Therefore, they both expand. In linear expansion, every linear dimension of an object changes by the same fraction when it's heated or cooled. So, that's a good way to get the ring off. Run it under hot water, hopefully it expands. Maybe try a little bit of dish soap or some lubricant there as well. Hopefully that gets you a good start on temperature, heat, and thermal expansion. Thank you so much for your time, and make it a great day. We'll see you soon.